Welcome back to the EPRS Chronicles. This is the final episode in our series on the next generation EU recovery instrument. In the current situation, where we have an energy crisis and a new geopolitical situation in Europe, it is important to examine the relevance of the next generation EU recovery instrument. For this, I am joined once more by Alessandro D'Alfonso. Hello, Alessandro. Hello, Kelly. So tell us, given the current energy crisis, has the impact of the recovery instrument been affected? I can assure you that uh, Next Generation EU remains uh, crucial and relevant. First, uh, the recovery plans uh, have a strong focus on energy, uh, which is instrumental in achieving the objectives of the green transition. On average, 18% uh, of the resources uh, are being invested in uh, energy measures, uh, such as uh, energy efficient renovation of uh, private and public buildings, uh, renewable energy generation, as well as uh, energy infrastructure and networks. Second, all the criteria selected for the plants are forward-looking, since they focus on uh, structural challenges that remain pertinent and need to be addressed even in uh, an evolving environment. Given the current economic situation with the energy markets, is it possible that we will need more resources than originally allocated in the plans? Yes, it is possible. The Commission has proposed a Repower EU plan to accelerate the green transition and in particular end the European Union's dependence on Russian fossil fuels. The Repower EU plan requires additional investments 210 billion euros by 2027 that the Commission has proposed to finance through the recovery instrument, mainly by using sums available for loans that have not been requested so far, but also by adding some fresh resources for grants. In addition, a new focus on security of energy supply should help address short-term objectives. Will this mean that countries can apply for further funding? Yes, the European Parliament and the Council are currently working on the proposal. Once approved, member states will be able to include Repower EU chapters in their plans with additional measures and funding devoted to energy. Well, given this new evolution of the recovery instrument's breadth, when will we know the overall impact of the next generation EU recovery instrument? All measures uh, must be completed by 2026, but as we have seen also in previous episodes, plans are broad and ambitious. For their smooth implementation, it is uh, important to meet objectives also before that date. Mm. So it, it will be crucial not to allow delays to build up. In its role of overseeing the EU budget, the European Parliament is closely monitoring how implementation is progressing. Transparency will be a, an indispensable ingredient for the success of the recovery instrument. This concludes our series on the next generation EU recovery instrument. As we have seen, it covers a historic uh, plan on investments and reforms. It is already delivering results and will contribute to a more resilient European Union. Thank you for all your explanations, Alessandro. Thank you, Kelly. You can find out more about the recovery instrument on the EPRS website, where you will find the most up-to-date briefings and information. Mm -hmm.